Hello! This segment highlights the spinning hook kick, even though it was implemented versus an inexperienced opponent. I'm assuming by the nature of him looking very out of shape, no physical indication that he's been training, that indeed, this dude is a rookie, probably challenging his sensei to see if his martial arts are real. Which might actually sound like a joke, but I have witnessed this firsthand in Taekwondo. My teacher was sometimes challenged by people who doubted his class, and he'd welcome it, accidentally breaking their arms or ribs from the strike. And so I know this does happen. Even here, Eddie Bravo being confronted by someone who didn't believe in his jujitsu. The man, using feral monkey noises as his first line of attack, the Zeddy, making relatively quick work of him. Nonetheless, let's dive into the fight between the sensei and his challenger. Notice how he hops in and then probes with the lead. This does a few things. First, pulling his opponent's attention. Then, reading reaction to it to help gauge the next move. And of course, helps gauge distance for that next move. And his opponent this time really reacts to it, pushing it back, reciprocating the behavior. By doing this, not only has he habitually reinforced a pattern of behavior, but by knowing the next move, he can bait this behavior and exploit it. Faints the lead and like magic, the trick happens where you're not looking. Look at how his opponent's hand is extended. He was expecting to push back the lead, grasping air. And by the time he figures out what just happened, it's too late. Spinning hook kick to the dome. You could say this only landed because his opponent was inexperienced. But Uriah Hall essentially uses the exact same philosophy to land his spinning hook kick here. He created a reaction to his lead with the jab, then fainted it to pull that reaction, the trick happening where your attention isn't, lands clean on the dome. He used it here as well, completely catching Gegard off guard, although it appeared he didn't need any real setup. It was just the speed of execution and the element of surprise. Overall, it was beautifully executed and it may be used in a practical situation as well, although you should be careful using it on training partners as the ferocity of the kick when it lands is truly devastating. Here you can severely injure them, which you don't want to do to your training partners. It's also an excellent kick to exploit people circling away from your power hand if you have the speed and balance to efficiently deliver it, which is actually how Conor McGregor uses it frequently. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. It's good karma. And until next time, peace.